Whoa, can you believe it? I was able to track down some old footage of one of the first Cummins perforators. It looks like they're perforating bank checks. Well, that's cool. This looked like it was a small manufacturing company. I wonder if they had a release process. I'm sure they had something in place to keep data in order to make sure parts were released properly. Today, we still manufacture very sophisticated electronic equipment for automatic coin and currency handling that's just as cool as those old machines. Please join us on our journey to see how the release process has matured and see how we have integrated and unleashed PDM Link. Thank you. As you can see, our company has come a long way. Hi, I'm Jim Paletto and this is Rudy Seidel. We're from Cummins Allison Corporation in Mount Prospect, Illinois. Cummins Engines? No. Oh, well then, Allison Transmissions. No. Uh oh. Cummins Allison is a worldwide leader in coin and currency handling equipment for retail, banks, casinos, and anybody that needs the ability to manage large amounts of money. Cummins Allison was founded in 1887 and has gone through many changes over the years. On Monday, June 4th at 5 p.m., Jim and I will be presenting for you PDM Link Unleashed, One Company's Journey. In our presentation, we will be giving you uh, some insight into how we change from a paper-based release and change process to an electronic processes utilizing PDM Link. So you're asking yourself, why should I go to this presentation? Well, besides being able to meet and spend time with the coolest presenters at the conference, you'll see why how we went through the trials and tribulations of planning for and implementing a system that we feel is both robust and streamlined. Have you ever gone on a trip or a journey without a map or a GPS? Well, let us be your map to guide you down the path to PDM Link success. In our presentation, you'll learn the way that we implemented an electronic release and change process that includes attributes that communicate information to downstream users and systems, workflows, that allow for the required sequential and or concurrent activities needed for task completions, reviews, and approvals, and life cycles that we created to show the various stages in the processes. Now as with any journey, we had plenty of roadblocks that required us to make detours. At our presentation, we'll discuss these roadblocks and how we address them, some of which were resistance to change, unforeseen system issues, and how to train and roll out a new system to about 150 users.